Hi guys, I'm Zhao Ying Summers. Welcome back to Tiger Milk Podcast. How long were you married? Uh, oh, it's, uh, we've been married, uh, I think my ex, five years. Five years? Yeah, I had two children. I think uh, God sent him to me to give me those two beautiful children. So yeah. it, it did not end up very well because we are two very different person. He tried, he, he loved me for me being so big and colorful and so aggressive is my career. But then he got married and we had a kid. He wanted me to stay home and be a housewife. And it, I think a lot of women, Chinese traditional girls would like that, but it's just not me. I tried. I, I couldn't do it. For me, I have to go out there and make myself live a career like I want. So he can't handle it. It got really toxic. So divorcing was the best choice I can do. And it was very nasty. But I am still feel like now I look at those two kids, I'm like, I'm grateful. And he, he's mentioning his life. He's coming to my life. Two year, five years, gave me those two beautiful children yeah. that, uh, that I am just very grateful. Can I tell you, I think the best thing that you can do, because I, so I don't know if you know my story. I, I met a woman. She had two kids. We had a kid together. When I, when we split up, I kept all the kids. I love that. So they're like French fries. You can never have enough. That's right. Amazing. But I remember struggling and with the three kids. And I remember having this conversation with my dad where he was like, because I was living in an apartment in Hollywood, I wasn't making any money where like the kitchen was the living room was the bedroom. Like, you know, it was all one room. And I had this conversation with my dad where he was like, um, I'm so happy you're chasing your dream, but right now you have to take care of three kids when, and look how you're living. When does your dream become selfish? When is it selfish for you not to take care? And so, but I think, and I, I would wonder what you think. I think having the kids see you work hard towards what you want to do is more valuable, even if there is struggle involved, mm -hmm. than quitting and then just taking a whatever job yeah. to live a whatever life. I really um, uh, struggle. I really understand it when you talked about uh, when you took the three kids and the struggle when when you were living in Hollywood in a one bedroom. When I got uh, the divorce, my ex wasn't, was being very difficult because he didn't believe I can make it on my own. Mm -hmm. And he's very wealthy and is successful and he's retired from being so wealthy and successful. And uh, it was very nasty. He does not want me to have any money. And even, uh, but I didn't go to China to divorce him because if you know people, he's connected. I can't get a penny. I just have to go to China and go to the court and don't get the money and give up my career. So I decided, I said, listen, I don't have time for toxic uh, fights. And uh, I, for me, a peace of mind is much more valuable than anything. So I want to walk out with zero money and I want these two kids. I want zero child support. I want you to sign the paper today. He was like, as also, I don't want us to pay each other spousal support forever because I'll be f rich. I'll be richer than you one day. He's laughing. He goes, great. He signed it because he was waiting for me to come back and beg him. He also asked half of this house for me to pay him the money because I put half the money. He put half the money. He took all the money and I gave him half of this house. I was paying nine grand per month in interest on HELOC. I had $5 in my bank because he took all the money. And uh, I just told myself, we are not going to sell the house. We are going to keep the maid. We are going to be okay. Mommy is going to work. So I feel like my son, my daughter, see me living my life with no plan B. And uh, we end up, uh, we turn the corner. And now we are doing pretty well. And I just feel like uh, they always have the courage to choose their dreams and to not settle, to work hard and to believe in fate, to believe in that uh, if you believe in yourself, the universe is going to make it happen for you because they are in awe of uh, your courage. And I don't believe in moving because the easiest way is for me to sell this house and move to your one bedroom apartment. I mean, I can, I, I'm not being vain. It's just uh, they lost their father. The last thing I do is make sure the school is the same, even though it's expensive. The house is the same. The environment familiar is important for them too. So I can... I can not buy anything. I can sell all my jewelry. I can sell all my bag. I can work 20 shows a, a, a month. I can take all those stupid sponsorships with brands. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll go to China to do corporate gigs. I'll fly there every other week. So they don't have to move.
And that's what I did. I got sick. I don't know. Like when I was in Boston, I have no voice. I was like, the worst thing is you don't have voice and it's not from giving. You know? Can you lose your voice from giving? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? A strep throat. Oh, yeah. <laughs>